good afternoon everyone i just made it back to georgia and i'm out here doing some road cruising this evening in the piedmont um, it's completely overcast right now about 80 degrees and there will be some storms moving through later tonight uh, the rain is actually supposed to last for a few days but as of right now it's dry really humid warm cloudy um, great conditions for snakes to be moving so i'm going to hit this road hard tonight and we will see what we can turn up all right, first snake of the night is this nice little eastern copperhead here. It is still only dusk, so good to see that snakes are starting to move. It's still in the upper 70s out here and just really humid. It's been cloudy all day, so it should be good conditions for other things to be moving. Um, this little guy is wanting no part of me right now, so I'm going to run and grab my hook real quick and uh, help him across the road and get back after it, and we will see what else we can find. Next find of the night is this really nice little corn snake here. A little bit thin, but um, not bad. Nice little sub-adult here. Um, it was just crossing out of this beautiful flat rock habitat, and I barely saved it from getting ran over. Um, to my knowledge, corn snakes are actually not super common here in this exact region of the Piedmont, but um, pretty common snake in the surrounding area, I guess. As you can see, this one kind of looks more like the... Uh, montane corn snakes that you see further up out of the Piedmont kind of has a dark um, tail really small little spots but <laughs> this guy's currently trying to bite my crotch so I'm going to move it across the road here and snap some quick photos here if it will pose for me and we will see what else we can find really beautiful corn snake um, good to see snakes are moving so I'm going to hit the road and we will see if we can find some other cool species All right here's a closer look at this nice corn snake here now that I have it out of the road and it is a bit calmer. It's actually a pretty nice one here, but um yeah, I'm just going to move it and hit the road because it is prime time. Next find of the night is this gorgeous little juvenile gray rat snake here just starting to cross. Um kind of kinked up in typical rat snake fashion. This guy kind of looks like he might have been nope, he's alright. Just how he was looking. As you can see, this little guy still has a lot of pattern and is living up to the uh, name Gray Rat Snake. But as he ages, that will likely fade and uh, become more of a dark coloration. I'm just going to move this little baby rat snake across the road here before somebody comes by and hits him. And keep on cruising. Both native species of Panthropus tonight. Really cool to see. Gorgeous little gray rat. Not shed or anything. Super clean looking. But yeah, apparently snakes are moving now, so I'm going to hit the road and keep on after it. All right, it has now been a couple of hours since I filmed that little rat snake in the previous clip. Um, most of the movement tonight seemed to really peak around dusk, but that's not surprising. It's still really early in the season, so um, I would expect snakes to move around dusk and shortly after dark and uh, not be moving super late this time of year. But as we get closer to summer, that will change and we'll start getting some things later into the night. But anyway, it's been a while since I've seen any snakes, so I think I'm going to call it a night here. But I will be heading out um, at least a few nights this week, possibly even tomorrow night. I mean, it's going to rain tomorrow, but I might go for some amphibians or something. But either way, I will see you guys after work um, one evening slash night this week. So stay tuned and I will see you guys there. Good evening everyone. It has been a day since you last seen me and as predicted it is flooding right now and we have some heavy rains moving through tonight so with that being said I'm about to drive north to the Ridge and Valley Mountains of extreme northwestern Georgia to do some road cruising for amphibians. Um, it seems like a really good night for salamanders to be moving. Should be some good frogs in the mix as well so yeah I'm going to make this drive north and we will see what we can find tonight. guys first amphibian of the night is the frog of all frogs and it's kind of tough to see here but this is a massive adult american bullfrog um, they can get bigger than this but this is a really nice one and just check out the pattern on this guy's legs really uniquely marked individual look at that that is a big frog 
it's one of the biggest ones I've seen in at least a year or so. Um, just massive, really chunky, just about as big as they come. Um, bullfrogs are really tough, can live just about anywhere. Um, unlike a lot of frogs, they actually prefer permanent bodies of water because they have such a long uh, tadpole stage. But um, there's some dogs barking at me now, so I'm going to move this guy out of the road here, and we will see what else we can find. Nice, huge American bullfrog. And the next find of the night is this really attractive little northern red salamander here. Not a really big one, but super vibrant. Um, the ones up here in the northwestern corner of Georgia in the mountains are more um, true northern red salamanders. And they are some of the prettiest ones that you will see anywhere in the range. Um, really good looking salamanders. As I have said before, it's not a Tristan Clark video without red salamanders. But um, really nice one here. It sounds like there's actually a car coming, so I'm going to get this little guy out of the road and we will see what else we can find. Nice northern red salamander. And right here we have northern red salamander number two for the night. Um, similar sized one, really pretty. Um, again, these salamanders are super vibrant up here. I tend to find plenty of them, even when I'm not looking for them, as you guys know. But um, they are one of my favorite salamanders, and it's pretty clear why they are really pretty. Um, really awesome amphibians with a pretty cool life history um, being associated with springs and seeps. This kind of looks like a little spring-fed area over here in this ditch, so not really surprising, but I'm just going to move this guy off the road here and keep on cruising. Good diversity tonight so far. So I just walked back to my vehicle here to get in, and right underneath it we have a nice little Cope's Gray tree frog here. Now these are pretty much the most common tree frog in the southeast. Um, really resilient. They can breed just about anywhere. Really tough frogs. Um, they can handle some rough conditions, but you typically don't see them out in the daytime um, that much. You will hear them calling. Sometimes you'll get them if you're lucky, but really outside of wet nights like this, you don't see too many. So even though they are common, um, pretty cool to see them out and about right now. We are in early May, so it's the season for these guys. But yeah, nice little Cope's Gray tree frog. Notice how it's gripping onto my thumb here. These guys are great at climbing. Uh, being tree frogs but yeah i'm going to help this little guy off the road here and hopefully he will stay away from vehicles and make it to a wetland here to breed i assume they're actually using this little ditch here this seems like something they would use so yeah nice little cope's gray tree frog there you go buddy all right now check this frog out this is one of my main targets for tonight this is the barking tree frog now these are really cool tree frogs um my personal favorite from the genus hyla um they are the largest native tree frogs in north america um obviously the cuban tree frog is quite a bit larger but they are not native they're a very invasive species here in north america so yeah largest native tree frog in north america and they can get much bigger than this um, this is just a nice um, average sized one here if I can get it to stop jumping around. Um, but yeah, these are really cool tree frogs, predominantly found in the coastal plain, but they do occur up here in the North Georgia mountains and can be pretty common in some areas in these uh, mixed pine and hardwood forests. Um, as far as upland habitat, that is one of their main requirements. They're not super picky about the wetlands they breed in or anything. Um, these guys get their name because their call actually kind of sounds like a bark almost. I can't really replicate it. But um, yeah, really awesome little barking tree frog. Just such a vibrant green. As you can see, these guys also have some spots on their back. And that can kind of vary. They can have really dark spots or sometimes even white ones. Um, and again, this is just an average sized one here. They can get a lot larger than this. So I'm going to get some good photographs of this individual right here and keep on cruising and we will see what else we can find. But yeah, target acquired. Barking tree frog. Really cool to see these up here in the North Georgia mountains. And right here is a closer look at this really nice looking barking tree frog here. This frog has been cooperating so well for photographs here. Um, 
again largest native tree frog in north america they can reach up to seven centimeters in total length i believe and it's not very big but for a tree frog from the genus hyla it's pretty large these frogs are also really stocky they're really plump frogs as you can see this little guy's not very long but uh for its size it's a really thick frog so uh yeah so cool to see these up here in the ridge and valley mountains of north georgia Awesome little amphibians. Um, it's species like this that make me want to become more of a frog guy sometimes. Um, those of you that know me know that I am mainly a salamander guy. I love the frogs too. But um, yeah, these really get me going. Um, really nice barking tree frog. Um, I've got some good photos, so I'm going to move this guy off the road and keep on cruising. And we'll see if we can find us a bigger one or something else. All right, next frog of the night is this little juvenile bullfrog here, much smaller than that first one. As you can see, this one is still really young. Um, I have actually found bullfrog tadpoles um, bigger than this, so not a very big one. Um, when they're this age, they can be easily mistaken for green frogs, but um, one way you can tell for sure that they are bullfrogs is this uh, dorsolateral ridge here that runs from the eye. Um, in bullfrogs, that ends at the ear, and in green frogs, it extends well down their side. And as you can see right here, I'm going to zoom in on it so you'll see what I'm talking about. The uh, lateral ridge on this frog ends at the ear, so this is a little bullfrog. But yeah, I'm just going to move this little guy out of the road here, and on cruising and we will see what else we can find nice little juvenile bullfrog on, old buddy. right here we have barking tree frog number three for the night and right here we have barking tree frog number four and if you look at this one it has a slightly different pattern um, some nice white spots going on on the back Really nice ones here. Still not any really big ones like what I'm hoping for, but they are out tonight. Honestly, wouldn't surprise me if they are breeding. Um, I haven't heard any calls yet, but uh, for them to be moving in numbers like this, it kind of suggests that something is going on. Um, these are warmer weather frogs like many of the other tree frogs. You really don't see them start getting active until um, late April, early May, which is exactly where we are right now. So good to see them coming out really showing the transition into summer that's going on here in Georgia at the moment. But um, yeah, two more nice barking tree frogs. I'm going to get some good photographs of both of these and keep on cruising. And we'll see if we can find some more or some other amphibians. And the next amphibian of the night is this really high postured American toad here. Um, toads are so funny. They always sit up like this, but this one is sitting straight up. Um, I've been hearing these guys calling, and it is the breeding season for them, um, late April, early May. So, kind of surprised this is the first one we've seen. But yeah, nice American toad. A really cool generalist. Always cool to see them out and about. And this is just a really nice looking one, sitting up nice and straight here. But I'm going to move him. It does appear to be a male. As you can see, it's doing the release call. Um, that is what males do when other males grab a hold of them or really anything but that basically means let go get off of me i'm not a female so um yeah that's what he's trying to tell me right now but um, i'm going to move him across the road here and that way we will keep on cruising and see what else we can turn up and right here we have another good looking red salamander scurrying across the road here this one's a bit different looking. Um, kind of has bigger eyes than the other ones from what I can tell, but um, really pretty salamanders. This looks like it's going to be one of those nights where there's numbers of these guys. Um, kind of reminds me of cruising through the Blue Ridge Mountains back in Tennessee where you could just get hundreds in one night road cruising. Um, haven't really experienced that in Georgia yet, so maybe this is one of those kinds of places, but yeah, another northern red salamander. I'm just going to move this guy off the road here and keep on cruising and we will see what else we can find. Right here we kind of have a return to normalcy. This is a Cope's Gray Tree Frog. I'm quite a bit larger and has a nicer pattern than the one 
that we found earlier coming out from under my vehicle. Um, I thought this is another barking tree frog at first and stopped because this is a pretty big one here for a Cope's Gray, but still just a Cope's Gray tree frog. Um, cool to see these guys out here. Always cool to see the diversity. Obviously, these are much more common and widespread than the uh, barking tree frogs. Barkers have their areas, but um, that can be a challenge to find compared to these. So, yeah, really surprised we haven't seen more copes on the road so far, but I'm just going to move this one out of the road here and keep on cruising. And right here we have another barking tree frog. This is definitely one of the nicer looking ones tonight. Really stocky. I'm kind of puffing itself up a bit. They tend to do that when they feel threatened. But still a really stocky frog. Um, has some nice pattern on the side and some white, nice white speckles going on. But um, yeah, I just moved this individual off the road here so it wouldn't get smashed by some oncoming traffic. And I kind of like the change of scenery here in these pine needles. So I'm going to get some good photographs of this one. Hit the road and we'll see what else we can find. Numbers of barking tree frogs tonight. I'm really happy with this. And right here we have another great looking red salamander. This is the biggest and prettiest one of the night yet. Um, I think this is number four now. I've kind of lost count, but um, yeah, really nice red salamander. This is a really good looking one, so if it will calm down here, I'm going to try to photograph it and uh, hit the road and we'll see what else we can find. Good to see these guys still out moving in numbers. Um, now I know this is a road that will produce them frequently, so. Awesome to see another nice pseudo triton ruber. So I have lost track of just how many barkers we have seen tonight. I'll have to go back and rewatch these clips to get an exact number. But this is kind of what I had in mind tonight, right here. I mean, just look at this one. Really dark spots, some uh, yellow, kind of whiter speckles mixed in. Such a beautiful frog. There's really nothing else quite like them. Um, Wow, I don't know what else to say. These are just really incredible amphibians. And this is a species I've wanted to see for years and I've just never got a chance to come down here and do it until living in Georgia here. And I'm only a short distance south from the uh, northwest Georgia mountains where these frogs are apparently pretty common here. But yeah, in my opinion, this is the prettiest one of the night by far, so I'm going to photograph it. And I'm actually on my last pass here, so maybe calling it a night soon. Hopefully we get something else before we get out of here, but if not, I'm happy. Um, this is the main species I came up here to see, so yeah, I really could not ask for more, but I'm going to get some photos here and keep on cruising, and we'll see what we can do. All right, it is now 2.30 in the morning, and I have to get up for work in just a few hours, so with that being said, I'm going to end this video here. Really productive night all in all. I got everything I was after except for a couple of salamanders. Uh, those barkers exceeded my expectations. I was really only expecting, you know, two or three of them nestled amongst some more common amphibians on that road, such as the uh, Cope's Gray Tree Frog and some of the other things we found tonight. But to my surprise, the uh, barking tree frogs were actually our most abundant amphibian. So I had a really good time seeing numbers of those. That's a species I've wanted to see for years and had never had a chance to until tonight. So good times. Um, but yeah, like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. Do all of that good stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. There's some awesome stuff coming your way soon. So keep an eye out.